captain never gave a reason why he cancelled the lifeboat drill. It was a decision that would cost many lives. There would not be another drill. In the event of an emergency, the crew was unrehearsed. While the captain was reading his sermon, the iceberg was being carried further south over the Grand Banks by the Labrador Current and was now less than 300 miles away. It would soon hit the Gulf Stream, an ocean current that makes its way up from the east of the United States. The Gulf Stream can be 15, 18 degrees C. In those um, ocean conditions, an iceberg won't last very long. The slapping of the waves deteriorates the iceberg at the waterline and then ultimately pieces break off. A medium iceberg might be gone in as little as 10 days. The Titanic was heading southwest towards the Gulf Stream. In any normal year, this would be too far south to encounter an iceberg. But 1912 was not a normal year. At midday on Sunday, April the 14th, Phillips received the second ice warning of the day. It was from the steamship Baltic and gave the location of a region of ice that contained icebergs, an area the Titanic was heading towards. The MSG prefix would show it was for the captain's attention. There would be five ice warnings during the day, but this would be the last that the captain would receive. At two o'clock in the afternoon, the captain handed the message to Ismay. Anyone would think we're heading towards the North Pole. Two weeks after the disaster, the inquiry would attempt to prove that Ismay had wanted the captain to keep to schedule and ignore any ice warnings. Why do you think the captain handed you the Marconi gram? As a matter of information, I take it. You knew, of course, that the proximity of icebergs was a danger. You knew that much, did you not? There is always a danger with ice. And you knew that you would be in the region of ice sometime on that Sunday night? Yes. And therefore it behoved those who were responsible for the navigation of the ship to be very careful? Naturally. Would it not be necessary to slow down for icebergs? Presumably so, yes. Then what is the object of continuing at full speed through the night if you expect to meet ice? Why do you do it? I presume that the captain would be anxious to get through the ice region. He would not want to slow down upon the chance of a fog coming on. So the object of it is to get through it as fast as you could? I presume that if a man on a perfectly clear night could see far enough to clear an iceberg, then he would be perfectly justified in getting through the ice region as quickly as possible. <laughs> 